Okay, uh, we're finished with this simple system dynamics exercise. So any uh, any questions on the Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, that uh, is meant to be the topic for the second part of this seminar. Uh, but uh, y y yes, you can do it. And this is kind of the, the main uh, feature of AnyLogic and the main idea behind the, the whole AnyLogic project. So yes, you can. So, uh, even now I can show you that you can drop here uh, things like source, uh, queue, uh, whatever, delay, sync. So you can at least see uh, at this point of our seminar that on a single canvas you can have different things and you can link them. So uh, you can address, for example, the sales rates in the, uh, your source entity generation rate. So you can s tell, tell the model that the uh, uh, source arrival rate is not constant one, but it equals to <coughs> sales. And then, uh, for example, this could be the model of your, let's say, business process at the retailer shop, right? So each sales generates a certain, you know, activity. And you may model sales uh, generation in system dynamics and the rest, the business process and industry events. So yes, you can. Uh, any other questions at this point in time? Concerning the action based modeling, you have a representation of the time factor, I suppose. I mean, you represent all the temporal uh, temporality of the behaviors. Uh, yes. Um, <coughs> of course, we do because agents, uh, let's say inside the agent, you can use any uh, time-related formalisms to define his behavior, including system dynamics and, uh, and processes. But that, again, is a, later, a bit later topic. You, you had a question. Uh, uh -huh. Is it possible to script the dynamic, the dynamic scenario you, you presented, that you, you want to change some parameters sometimes uh -huh. in the simulation? Is it possible to script it? To, to prepare it uh, uh, before the simulation, so that the event uh, is triggered. Uh, oh, of course, before. yes. Uh, in many different ways. Uh, this, uh, for example, you can do you can do this event that uh, occurs once at um, at time, let's say uh, one, and uh, what it does, it's. Um, it sets at, at effectiveness to zero, for example, uh, li like that. And, uh, <coughs> and we can actually run the model. Oh, sorry, this is the, uh, I want it, this one, right? Yes, so, bang. Now it's zero. And uh, just to confirm, <coughs> oh yes, uh, it starts at 2.5. 2 I just wanted to show you the, the jump to, to zero, but it, it was in there. OK, any other uh, questions? Yes, concerning the action behaviors, uh, can you uh, have an external uh, program? Yeah, but okay, we're uh, yeah, we're now talking about the uh, you're sort of uh, running ahead of me uh, because we're now talking about uh, uh, system dynamics. The next topic is discrete and, and the agent base is, is after that, and uh, so maybe it's better to uh, answer this question later on during the uh, today. Okay, so uh, shall we go on and I'll. Do you want me to build a simple discrete van model in front of you? Because that was my uh, next exercise. Okay.